Hi everyone. In this video, I will be guiding you through um, Octave's UI for resources and provide you um, all the required tips and tricks for you to make the best use of it when you're developing your solution with, uh, with Octave. So the resource panel is where you see the whole list of resources which is available on your device. So here on the Mango Yellow, which has uh, many sensors, you have a, a very complete set of resources. So first thing, you can expand the whole list of resources and have the full details of everything which is available. So one first uh, little tip to, to use is the filter. So if ever you're looking for the inertial measurement unit, which is called IMU, you just filter that and you have access to all the sensors related to the IMU. Or uh, as you can see here, the IMU accelerometer, uh, you have a way to enable that sensor or not. That's the case for many sensors or features on the device. So if ever you just filter for enable, this gives you a complete list of resources sensors or properties which have an enable disable switch and provide you a complete status of all these resources at one glance so this is very very convenient so uh, in the scope of this tutorial we're going to uh, look at the light sensor and to show you everything about resources so let's filter on light and here i have filter uh, a filter about all the characteristics and all resources of that light sensor. So you will see that there's there are two outputs. So basically these are resources that you can define from the cloud. Uh, so enable to turn the sensor on and a period which tells the device at which uh, periodicity it needs to read the sensor and, and update the data hub and the resource for that, um, for that sensor. And you have two other resources which are inputs. So one is the trigger which is used to uh, trigger a measurement outside of the, the the periodic behavior and the value which is actually where and how the uh, the light reading is uh, is written to and, and reported so what you see overall in this ui is the name of the resource in this column you see one column where the last reported value is uh, provided you have this button, which we'll go through later on, which allows you to send a command to that specific resource. Here you have a way to check if that resource has an observation tied to it. And here we see a little one right next to the light value. This means that it, there's an observation um, on the device to monitor what is happening on that resource. And if ever you want to add another observation, on that resource you can just click that small button from here and you also have information about when and how long ago was that uh, resource value reported from the device to the cloud so here we see a few minutes ago when i started my device uh, the status of the uh, light enable and light period have been reported and from time to time more regularly i have some updates on uh, the value itself so something important to note is that the overall resource panel is not meant to be fully real time. It's reported because it reports all your resources. So it's reported basically every minute for all resources when you are in developer mode, which is the case here on my device. If you are not in developer mode, only the resources which have observations tied to them will be updated, provided that in operation we only want to report uh, specific uh, resources and specific information from from the device to the cloud now let's look at how our uh, resources are configured here we see that the light sensor is enabled and its uh, measurement period is 10 seconds so in order to uh, witness what we will be changing in how it affects the device behavior um, i prepared a tab where we see the light sensors data coming up to uh, octave cloud and so here the reference data that we see is that we have a measurement a data point coming in to the cloud every every 10 seconds and so we'll come back to that graph to see how our, our changes affect the device's behavior 
So one way to change uh, the configuration is to say, well, I want to change the period and let's define it to be one second instead of 10. I apply that and that configuration change is sent to the device and it will, it will change its behavior. So let's have a look at what happens. We see that we now have much more frequent updates, one every 10 seconds, for instance. So what have we done here actually? What we have done is that we have defined in the Octave cloud side configuration for the device, we have defined a new value for that light period. It has been sent to the device and it has been stored on the device as its new default configuration. This means that just by now, but any time the device will start, it will apply the settings which are mentioned here in the configured value column. So you can power off your device and power it on again uh, in a few minutes or in a few days. It will use the settings that are defined in the configured value. And here with one second, we have very frequent updates. Now, if ever you want uh, for operational purposes, change or adapt the setting of any given uh, resource for a short period of time, but you, you still want the default configuration to be the one that is present here. In that case, what you're going to do, you're going to use commands, meaning in the configured value, you will have the default and reference values that you want uh, to have on your device. And you're going to send a command to temporarily change the value of a resource. Uh, on the device. And so the way to do so, you could be doing that with the Octave API, but here we're using the UI. So convenient way to do so is use this little uh, icon, which allows you to send a command to the device. So let's do that. And we'll say, well, I now want to change the period, set it to, uh, let's say, uh, well, 10 seconds. Again, I'm going to send that. It sends it's sent as a command to the device and we should see the reporting period uh, slowing down on the device so here we had one second updates and now we have it coming in uh, every every 10 seconds again so that means the default configuration on the device is still having a period of one but the current value and the current setting on the device has been set to 10 thanks to a thanks to a command but if ever i were to reboot the device um, it will start up with uh, one second as the period with that you have learned that there are different ways to configure and and change uh, the resource settings on your device uh, so as a recap you have a way to configure the device, what, what its default configuration is, and otherwise to temporarily change the value uh, of a specific resource, you can send a command to it. One side note is that uh, when you will be using blueprints later on, meaning capturing what your device configuration shall be and how to deploy that configuration, that blueprint to other devices, it's the configured value which is taken. So all devices having the same blueprint will have the same default configured values uh, whenever they start up. And then during the device, each device's lifetime and operations um, through commands, uh, each device will have its own, um, its own evolution in terms of parameters by having different sets of commands uh, applying specific settings to any resource on, on that device.